and I just started branching out uh, dogs, cats. I suppose it could have turned into a, a, a normal hobby like taxidermy. I wanted to, to see what the insides of these animals looked like. I, I, feelings of violence, uh, I just, it was, a, it was a compulsion, became a compulsion. What would you do with the, with the dead animals, Jeff? Take them back in the woods, uh, skin them sometimes, uh, slit them, slit them all the way open, uh, look at the organs, feel them. Can you describe what no, you were thinking? I, I was, I was, it was just mystifying to me how, how the insides of the animal looked. I was drinking a lot during that time and just, uh, I don't know, looking for something to, uh, some way to find some fulfillment, some, some pleasure. And I acted on my fantasies and uh, that's where everything went wrong. Were you relieved to be arrested? Part of me, part of me was, and part of me wasn't. So I was, it was a relief not to have to uh, keep such a gigantic secret that I had kept for so many years. And once I saw that I had no choice but to face it, I uh, decided to face it head on. Uh, I am glad that the secrets are, are gone. I, I just get uh, angry with other people who, who think that uh, they have a right to, uh, to somehow try to blame my parents for what happened. That's not right at all. No one has the right to do that because they're totally innocent. They had no knowledge of it. And uh, that angers me. It was my way of remembering uh, their appearance, their physical beauty. Uh, I also wanted to keep something, if I couldn't keep them there with me whole, I, at least I felt that I could keep uh, their skeletons as a sort of uh, memorial, uh, a, a point where I could, I don't know, it's, it's, it's so bizarre and strange it's hard to describe, a place where I could collect my thoughts. Uh, and feed my obsession. Having these obsessive thoughts uh, when I was about uh, 15 and 16, they were sexual fantasies of control, power, uh, complete dominance, eating of the heart and uh, the arm muscle. It was a way of uh, making me feel that uh, they were a part of me. Then I tried to uh, keep the person alive by inducing a zombie-like state. I kept the, uh, the mummified uh, head and skull of one of the victims in uh, a, a carrying case in my locker at work. I didn't ever want freedom. Frankly, I wanted death for myself. This was a case to tell the world that I did what I did not for reasons of hate. I hated no one. I knew I was sick or evil or both. Now I believe I was sick. The doctors have told me about my sickness and now I have some peace. I know how much harm I have caused. I tried to do the best I could after the arrest to make amends, but no matter what I did, I could not undo the terrible harm I have caused. My attempt to help identify the remains was the best that I could do and that was hardly anything. I feel so bad for what I did to those poor families, and I understand their rightful hate. I know I will be in prison for the rest of my life. I know that I will have to turn to God to help me get through each day. I should have stayed with God. I tried and failed and created a holocaust. Thank God there will be no more harm that I can do. I believe that only the Lord Jesus Christ can save me from my sins. I know my time in prison will be terrible, but I deserve whatever I get because of what I have done.